Hello everyone, Harvey from Elixnode here and today I'm going to be showing you the most useful and recommended Minecraft server plugins for your server. So this video is going to be split up into two parts. We'll have free recommended Minecraft server plugins and the paid recommended Minecraft server plugins. I obviously can't show you all of the paid ones because it cost me a lot of money. So I'm just going to show you through all of the free ones and just show you clips and different other things of why you should get the paid ones. Use the YouTube chapter feature to see the specific plugins if you need. Also, before we start, if you're looking for the cheapest Minecraft hosting on the web, make sure to check us out at elixirnode.com where we have the best hosting on the market for the cheapest of prices. And as always, the links to all these plugins will be also down in the description. Enjoy the video. So firstly we're going to be going through the free plugins and the first one for your Minecraft server is the plugins Luck Perms. It's an ideal permissions plugin for your server as it allows you to easily set up ranks alongside specific permissions like I'm going to create a group like right now. LP create group owner. Sorted. I've already created a group. It's just that simple. Obviously you can add permissions and stuff like if I want to put permission on myself. I know, essentials dot ban. Instantly just giving myself permission. It's so easy and I've used this so much myself and I think it's amazing. There's also a luck perms editor which you can do by doing such LP editor and clicking the link. And it's even easier on here because you can go through each of the ranks and set them like this and it's just perfect. Essentials is probably the most important plugin on this list and it's a must have for your Minecraft server. Like it has over 3 million downloads. It gives you hundreds, maybe thousands of commands to make your server just work that little bit better. And it has so many commands. Where it goes from just having the simplest of things from instead of having to do game mode creative, you can do Sess GMC instead. All the way to vanishing so people can't see you. Or smiting. I can summon lightning whenever I need to. And we've also done a really in-depth analysis of the plugin going through each command and what it entails, which will be linked in the description and probably on the card above this right now on the eye. So dealing with lots of worlds is a bit of an issue and you probably know that if you're on a Minecraft server because it's such a long process. But there's a plugin called Multiverse Core where it just makes it so much easier and it's just so much more efficient. Like I got this world on here which is a spawn world which I got from the internet and it, it took me no time in comparison to if I didn't have the plugin. All I needed to do is I needed to put it in and do MV load and then the name of the plugin, this one was called spawn. You can create worlds super easy and it has so many useful commands to use. I would completely recommend getting Multiverse. And now for the next few, I can't show you them because they're specific game mode ones, but they're really, really fun. And let's start off with Paintball Battle. And it does what it says on the tin, okay? It has Paintball Battles with so many customizable features like winner rewards, team customization, and so much more. This is a great plugin to have if you want to have fun with friends or create a minigame server because who doesn't like paintball? And another staple for Minecraft minigames is Bed Wars. And the plugin Screaming Bed Wars makes that perfect for you and it is loved by many. It has so much customization like Paintball Battle and it will make it perfect for you and your players in Bed Wars. And very similar to Bed Wars, Sky Wars is also a benchmark minigame that everyone loves. So the best plugin I think that you could get for this is Skywars Reloaded. I have also done a massive video on this on the YouTube channel recently. And I go very into depth with the plugin and what the commands you can do. So that's also linked in the description. There's a, there's a lot of things linked in the description, but it's easy to find out. And the final game mode plugin that I think you should add is Iridium Skyblock. And I've used this plugin personally for a Minecraft server before. I currently don't have it, but I can't fault it. It has so much customization, including things like specific island types and challenges, making it a complete Skyblock plugin for your server. And if you love Skyblock, you'll just love the plugin, and I just can't fault it as I said a minute ago. Even though this one isn't a mini game, another fun plugin is Libs Disguises, as you can disguise as any mob or player like. I'm a pig. How couldn't you love this? Yeah, so basically, this would make it really interesting for mini games, even. Like you could have like prop punt or something where someone pretends to be a pig. Or you can just have fun with your players. 
There is a paid version, which I'm gonna go through later, which has features like hide and seek, but it's primarily a free plugin. As you can see, I can go to a lot of mobs. So even if you warn people on your Minecraft server, there's always gonna be people that try and grief your spawn like this, okay? But there's a plugin that fixes all that. And that plugin is WorldGuard. Using WorldEdit, WorldGuard will allow you to select regions and create a secure zone like this. All I need to do is create a region like this and then do RG define. And it helps you prevent griefing because you can use RG flags where you can change all of the flags. Like you can stop people building, you stop people PVPing just to make it for your Minecraft server. It's 100% reliable and just so much better than just warning people. Because one day you could just go off and then it just gets destroyed. So if you're adding loads of plugins to your Minecraft server like I am here, it's very possible that you're going to need Vault. It's not the most life-changing plugin around, but it helps you manage plugins easier and lets you link to plugins like, say, for example, Essentials Economy and Assign Shop, for example. Whenever I'm creating a server, this is one of the first plugins I get, as it just links them all together to make sure you don't have any issues in the future. Think about this. Imagine having Google Maps your Minecraft server. Well, that exists, and that's DyneMap. I'm on a DyneMap here, and as you can see, it's amazing. It's literally just Google Street View for your Minecraft server. Players love this plugin. However, it's quite resource intensive because it has to load all of this. So make sure you have lots of resources available. It even shows the chat down here, and you can make a chat that people can talk through on the internet. And the final free plugin that you should add to your Minecraft server is holographic displays. There's so many top servers like Hypixel that use holographic displays to direct players to many places. And I think it's about time that you did this too. It's really simple and it just looks so great. Like, say, let's head over to Hypixel here. This is an example that they have on their Minecraft server of a hologram. There's another one. There's so many holograms. And you can even use these for a placeholder API like they have done here, where it shows the amount of wins that people have. And I think that just makes it really cool because you can add player counts or as they've done here, a leaderboard. Now it's time to go through the premium plugins that we recommend to add to your Minecraft server. And these are very often high quality and the big servers will often use these plugins. So let's take a look. And the first one that we're going to go through is MCMMO. And this is a plugin which allows players to gain experience in specific skills, which makes them better at specific things. It's quite hard to explain, but you'll get the idea. If you want to start a new MMO server, this is the plugin you'll need because they will gain so much skills. And when it comes to anti-cheats, you shouldn't cheap out because you need to catch as many cheaters as possible, especially if your server is bigger. The best anti-cheat is AAC, where it will keep track of all the hackers and cheaters on your Minecraft server, and it will get them just for you. And it has so many customizable features that you can use to make your server hacker-free. And this is for only £20, so you can't go wrong with this anti-cheat if you can afford it. And for only $7.50, you can format your chat with Deluxe Chat. It has so many customizable features and commands that makes the plugin completely worth it for your money. This plugin is also supported by Placeholder API and is Bungie Cross Chat also. And once again, a really useful plugin if you want to format your chat more effectively and just make it that stand out a little bit more. And I said I was going to come back to Libs Disguises before on the free plugin list. However, there is a paid version, as I said, and it adds even more cool features like hide and seek to the game. If you really like the free edition and your players do, I'd recommend you get this because it's only $9 and it adds a fun new game for your players. But for most people, the free version would be plenty. If you're ever going to punish anyone on your Minecraft server, it's really good to have a perfect punishment system. So Essentials comes with that for free, but it's not great because it doesn't have like a ban message or works for specific times. But for only $8.50, you can get a fully complete punishment plugin that allows you to get rid of players that break the rules by banning them through their IP, UUID or name. It's a great plugin with free extensions like Punishment GUI, there's an essential plugin for any server that wants to withhold reputation. And by the way, this plugin is called Light Bands. And I've used Light Bands myself, and I've never found a better punishment plugin than this, personally. Backups for your server can be very messy and complicated. 
and there's a plugin called Easy Backup which will fix that for you. It will allow you to back up your server at regular intervals by setting time for backups, allowing you to just get on with your day to day running of the server and not having to worry about that. And if you need a backup, just go get it from your files. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Those are the recommended server plugins that we think you should get for your Minecraft server. And if this video has helped you at all, make sure to click the like button because it really helps us out here on the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and goodbye.